Now I'm gonna show you how to replace the gasket in your cooler. This will work for all Pelican coolers. Simply, if you have a bad gasket, simply just grab a piece of it and pull it out. When you receive a new gasket from us, it will come wrapped up. It's very important when we reset this gasket that you do not stretch it. You don't wanna pull. So there should be a small gap in the bottom, right in the middle of the cooler when you reset your gasket. So we're gonna start at the bottom of the cooler. You're just gonna find center and push it in. And just start working your way all the way around the cooler, just pushing lightly, trying not to stretch and tug on the gasket. We're gonna work all the way around the cooler, pushing it in the hole. When we get to the bottom, this is what you don't wanna see. You don't wanna see that you went too far with it. That means we stretched it. So we need to back it out a little bit and see if you can push it in the hole without stretching. You need a little bit of a gap in the bottom of the cooler so it does not create a vacuum when you close it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reset this side a little bit. If the gasket happens to be too long and you feel like you need to cut some of it, you can certainly cut a little bit off. But you wanna have a little bit of a gap in there when you're done resetting your gasket. And then if you wanna set it a little bit more, you can always close your cooler and it'll help push that gasket all the way in the hole, in the lid.